Yo, what is everyone, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to go over how to create this really cool fly through objects effect in Final Cut Pro 10. As you can see right here, this is what the final edit looks like. You're basically f uh, flying through Calvin, I mean Alvin Kamara's um, visor. So basically, just cut out his visor um, right there, and I just basically had it zoom in. But instead of just having it zoom into like one um, freeze frame, I have it zooming in like seven at the same time. So they're all uh, most zoom masks are just gonna zoom into one area, and there you go. However, in this instance, as you can see, it continues to keep on zooming and zooming. I think I have about I think I have about seven different freeze frames. So it creates this really cool effect and all of them are moving at the same time. It's not like one's moving and then the other one's moving. They're all moving at the exact same time. So it creates this really cool trippy um, effect. I know After Effects you can do something that's called a uh, 3D camera or something like that. I know you create the effect in After Effects, but you can actually create the effect also um, in Final Cut Pro 10, which is really cool. And don't worry, there's no plugins that doesn't cost anything. Everything is built into Final Cut Pro um, 10. So let's head over to the example right here, and this is what it looks like right there. So as you can see right here, I'll go ahead and just disable this here. Here is just um, a photo of him right here. This can be anything, but I'll just keep it, uh, uh, this photo just for the, uh, the tutorial. As you saw, I put a uh, clip of Patrick Mahomes in the background. You can put um, whatever you want in the background. But now the important part is the um, freeze frame right here. So as you can see right here, this is the, the photo or the freeze frame um, right there. So again, you can just have a photo or you could have him moving and then you could like freeze it and, and create this really cool zoom um, zoom repeater effect. Whatever uh, looks good to you, that's a, a personal preference. All I did right here was I took a draw mask right here and then I cut out his visor right there. And then I inverted the mask, changed the feathering to about five. Um, the feathering, I didn't want to infuse it too much because it's a very thin line, um, but it depends on what you're cutting out. If you're cutting out an eye, um, you want to really increase the feather to like 20 or 25. But because there's such thin lines with the helmet, you don't want to increase the feathering too much because it looks uh, incredibly weird. So let's go ahead and just disable the mask right here. And as you can see, that's what it looks like right here. So all I did was I just went ahead and cut out this section with the draw mask right here. I also went ahead and right clicked on it and I changed the edges to smooth just so it's gonna look um, a lot better. So what you're gonna do next is now you're gonna use the Ken's burn effect. Now you could actually just uh, increase the scale and position um, to have it zoom in but in this case, the Kensburn effect creates a more accurate, smoother uh, zoom in. So we're gonna go ahead and head over here to the crop section right here. Go to the crop right here, and you don't wanna go to trim, you don't wanna go to crop, you wanna go to here, Kensburn. Now, if you didn't even know this existed, this actually does exist. I made a video on the Kensburn effect. I think it's more of a personal preference, but I honestly think the Kensburn effect does a much, the animation is much smoother and more consistent. Yes, it does jump a little bit in the beginning, uh, but I feel like when you try to scale it or keep, keep in the position and scale, I think Final Cut jumps it like has it jump up way too uh, much so that's you know personal um, preference so anyway all you gotta do is you go Ken's burn make sure the start is on the outside right here and all you're doing is you're just adjusting the end to fit inside the place where you cut out you obviously gonna make it bigger or smaller but be warned it only goes so small so there are definitely you know, st a shots that you're not going to be able to zoom in because Final Cut Pro 10 will not be the, the Ken's burn effect does not fit into the area uh, then unfortunately that shot is no good okay so once you're done once you kind of have the end in this in the uh, draw mask right here all you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and click done right here and I'm gonna go ahead and play it right here and let's see what the effect looks like right there and as you can see there we go, now the effect is zooming in right there. The Ken's burn effect creates this really cool zoom in effect, and that's pretty much all you have to do right there. Now go ahead and just um, enable the bottom clip right here, and let's go ahead and play it right here, and there you go, as you can see right there, it zooms in right there. But you're gonna say, wait a minute, that's not the that's not the effect that I want. Well, what you're gonna do, okay, so this is seven seconds right here. The longest clip is gonna be on the bottom, and the shortest clip is, be, is going to be on the top. 
I'll, you know, you'll see what I mean in a second. But what you want to do is you want to make sure, like this, this is seven seconds, so this is the next one's going to be six, five, four, three, two, one. Make sure everything is kind of like um, equal to each other, and, and I'll, I'll stop explaining and just do it right here. So you can see right here, this is seven seconds. Now I'll show you what I mean. What you want to do is you're going to take the clip, you're going to hold Option, and you're going to create another clip right here. You're going to create a copy right here. Now what you're going to do with this copy is all you're going to do is just press on control D and then type in six seconds right there. That's all you want to do. You don't want to mess with anything else. All you want to do is set the duration right here. Now I think you can understand what I'm talking about. As you can see, now we're going to basically create a pyramid. So this is seven seconds, six seconds, and the next one's going to be five seconds. So let's go ahead and play it right here. And now let's see if this is the look that we want to go for right here. As you can see, there you go now that look now that looks um, a lot better right here as you can see right here you have another one right there so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead take the clip hold down option and I'm going to create another one so I'm gonna control D five seconds right here I'm going to head over and click on control D I mean uh, uh, option to create a copy control D four seconds if you didn't know it uh, control D basically sets the duration of your clip so it can definitely be really helpful when you're doing stuff like this stop motion or you're doing anything with like a freeze frame or stuff like that so this is going to be control D two seconds right here all you're going to do is click a hold down option do it again it's a very repetitive process uh, control D and now we are at one second right here so let's go ahead and play it right here and now let's see if we create the effect that we want and let's go ahead and play it right here as you can see there you go you have created the effect that you want to create right here it's as simple as that so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and just select all these clips um, right here hold down option G and now this is basically our zoom in clip what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just gonna go ahead and wait for it to render um, a little bit right here I'm just gonna go ahead and, and uh, copy this Patrick Mahomes one uh, clip right here I think it'll be a better example of what's happening um, so let's go ahead and move it over here and let's basically go over how to create it right here now I'll go ahead and wait for it to render um, a little bit right here and then as you can see there you go now you've created this really cool um, repeating zoom effect or like fly through object effect right there there you go that's how you create it it's as simple as that right here all you have right here is you just have um, the Ken's burn effect is zooming in right here's so the Ken's burn effect and what you're just doing is you're creating as many copies as you want and again see the top one is one second and the bottom is seven seconds so the longest duration has to be in the bottom while the shortest duration has to be on the top and again you could change this to like 10 set uh, 10 frames 20 frames 30 frames 40 frames so on and so forth I would make sure you keep a consistent um, time between them so example this is one second between this clip and then this clip ends and there's still one more second um, I would just you know keep a consistent number you don't have to do that but it's gonna probably look a lot better and look a lot more consistent right there and that's how you do it that's how you create this really cool fly through objects effect right here now you can go the other way around I had the end right here the Ken's burn effect I'll go ahead and just open it up right here I had the end um, right here at the end right here you could actually flip it around and you could have it start right here and then put the end on the outside right there that depends on you but that's it draw mask what you want to do is cut out the draw mask right here add the Ken's burn effect right here and then just keep changing the duration and you create this really cool um, a fly through object effect or repeating mask effect. I've already made a couple videos on this topic before, but it took me a while to really figure out or, or to get this look right here. And there you go. That's how you create this really cool effect. Hopefully, you, you're following along pretty well. Hopefully, it wasn't uh, too complicated, uh, but that's it. You could, you could add some motion blur if you want, but I don't really think it looks uh, that makes that much of a difference, but that's um, up to you. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it helpful and informative. If you're new to this channel, I upload Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials every day at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you enjoy these types of videos, consider hitting that subscribe button. Also, a Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial playlist with over 190 Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials. See you in the next one. Peace.